We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Right, that should do it. We all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. You're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on.
Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. Yeah, my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Is that what you want? I gave you my answer. You want to play it like that? Okay. Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. 
Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son, too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. Step forward when you hear the signal, you got it? And I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go, move. matter with him? No idea. Hey! Cut that! Clara! I was so scared. Are you alright? Come on! Move it!
Luther. I won't let them kill you, Carol. I won't let them destroy the only people I love. No, Luther. You can't sacrifice yourself. We'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Jerry? If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Ralph? Of course Ralph doesn't want to die. But he doesn't want the little girl to die either. Ralph can help you to escape. You only have to ask Ralph, and Ralph will help you. I'll kill you if you try anything. Ralph knows that. But if the little girl is free, it's a little bit like if everyone was free. Ralph isn't scared. The little girl's life's more important. You're on live. What's happening down there? We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The Army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time.
Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on just a little while longer. Fight on just a little while longer. Pray on just a little while longer. Incredible. The, the deviants. The deviants are singing. Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. We're free. They want you to speak to them, Marcus.
Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! This got to be a way. By the way. to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds, where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free.
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you.